how to cook the perfect steak. Some beautiful steaks from Tasmania here. Um, all I'm going to do, I've just left them to come up to room, towards room temperature so they're not really fridge cold. I've just put some salt, Mario River salt, some pepper and a bit of oil on the plate. I'm going to do this. So season and all the steaks. I'll do that we'll just, if I just put two on, on the, fl on the flame. But I'm just going to brush them like this because I find as you do that, the initial contact of the protein the meat with a grill, it stops it from sticking and it's also you get this little lick of flame. Oh, actually, probably <laughs> I'm a chef and I've burnt myself and I've cut myself. So I would suggest, I was just showing you how not to do it. Take, the, take some tongs and then flip and that, that should do it. You can see it's just as some of the oil that I've covered the coat of the steaks and it started to drip onto the flames. I'm getting, the flames are just licking the meat and that'll give you a beautiful char-grilled flavour. I've got a good amount of heat there. I'm going to flip these steaks every 20 to 30 seconds. So by continuing to turn it, all I'm doing is pulsing the heat through the meat. So this way, you get a fantastic crust, which is really important for steak because it makes it juicy. Chewing makes food juicy. And that's so, that's so easy. I'm going to leave these to rest for probably five minutes. Okay, so these are now ready. They've rested. I seasoned them before, but I'm going to slice them and then season them after because um, I want, it just gives a better distribution of the salt and pepper on the steak. I've just got a little bit of rosemary oil here. I'm just going to just drip a little bit over it. Some more pepper. Just with Murray River salt. And that is it. How juicy, it smells fantastic. I want to be alone. <laughs>